Hello everyone, my name is Alexa Jewell and I am the team lead for our Senior Design Capstone Project. Our objective is to design and manufacture a three-wheeled electric scooter for our client Dr. Wetz to use on the golf course. Certain design decisions were made in order to accommodate each of the desires of our client. These desires include being faster than competing products on the market, allowing for multiple riders, additional storage room, and being able to read battery life and speed. In addition to these preferences, our client had a list of parameters that the vehicle must be designed around. These specifications include ensuring 30 mile range at full power, 4130 chrome lace steel material, dual in wheel motor motors with matching rim and tires, a lithium iron phosphate battery, and a hydraulic braking system. Prior to the fabrication of the scooter, the CAD models of the chassis and suspension arm had SOLIDWORKS stress analysis performed on them to understand the expected performance with two riders sitting on the scooter. Dr. Kent Lawrence was consulted during this process along with Dr. Robert Woods to ensure the analysis was done correctly. From these tests, we obtained a minimum factor of safety of seven for the chassis and a factor of safety of four for the suspension arms. Here you can see the stress analysis of the suspension arm. The chassis design utilizes a 1.5 inch 4130 chrome lace steel tubes with 0.049 inch wall thickness and the suspension system having a 0.095 wall thickness to provide a higher factor of safety. The head tube has two gusset supports to decrease the stresses on the major stress points found during FEA analysis. The dual in-wheel motors and matching disc brakes are from QS Motor and will allow our client to reach a max speed of 25 miles an hour. The motors will be attached to the suspension arms using motor mounts manufactured by the UTA machine shop. Brake brackets were also designed to be screwed onto the motor mounts and will hold the brake calipers in an upright fixed position. During the design process, we re redesigned the front fork joints to reduce its complex geometry for ease of machining. We also used FEA to determine an optimal thickness at which to machine the front fork joint. Pictured here is the front fork joint and the axle mounts machined by the UTA machine shop. The front fork joint secures the system to the stem shaft by welding the shaft to the center hole. The fork tubes are then welded on both sides of the fork joint. The axle mounts slide into the open ends at the bottom of the fork tubes and are then secured by welding. These axle mounts secure the front wheel hub onto the front fork system with an axle rod. The front axle rod has internal threading on both ends for the bolts to connect with the axle mounts. The externally threaded section holds the hub in place with a 1 and 1 8 lock nut. This is the exploded view of the front axle and hub assembly. We have also chosen a heavy duty retaining ring to secure the hub in place. Connecting the handlebar assembly onto the chassis of the scooter with a bike headset resulted in a gap due to the large diameter of the head tube. To solve this issue, manufactured bushings will be used to fill this gap as shown by the green object in the photo. One critical aspect of the design was how we would secure the suspension system to the chassis. Using the UTA machine shop, a rear suspension rod will be manufactured to slide into the suspension arms utilizing oil impregnated bearings that will allow the suspension arms to rotate smoothly around this rod due to their self-lubrication properties. The rod will also have machined grooves in place to, for snap rings to restrict the suspension arms from sliding along, along the rod. These snap rings will also keep transverse forces from the chassis off of the edges of the suspension arm. Here you can see a transparent view of the suspension arm secured to the chassis. The suspension rod also has machined internal threads to allow for bolts to secure it to the chassis. Manufactured bolt sleeves will be utilized to allow a flat surface for the bolt to press against, along with securing the suspension rod in place. When designing our suspension system, our priority is to give our client a comfortable and stable ride. We have chosen to go with a single shock for our suspension system instead of the usual dual shocks. The shingle, single shock has several advantages over dual shocks with improved handling, stability, and braking. The single shock also requires less maintenance and adjustment and gives the user a smoother ride. The scooter was designed to be used on a golf course, reduce stresses in the frame, and provide an overall safer experience for the driver.
Currently, the project is in the assembly phase as all major components have been manufactured. We currently have front, the front fork system and chassis in the UTA design lab getting welded together for the assembly of the, before this assembly of the frame can be completed. All electronics have been tested except for the battery, which we are waiting to receive. Once our last pieces are welded, the scooter will be fully assembled and all wiring will be connected with a fully fun functioning prototype delivered to our client by the end of the semester. One of the most important lessons we learned during the design process was the importance of designing with the manufacturing in mind and not just the aesthetic design. We would like to acknowledge our faculty advisor, Dr. Woods, our client, Dr. Wetz, and his graduate students, Tyler and Alex, as well as our machinists, Scott and Rex. Thank you, and if you have any further questions, please reach out to me via email at alexa.jewel at mavs.uta.edu.